talented. It's now 11 to 8 from 64. 41 from 72 Stormy Sky. Still on 11 to 2 Uncle Mick. 13 to 2, that's the same price for Dirt Cove. 81 look to the future. Usk Valley came into 12s just before our short break. It's back in out to 14s now. Same prices, the remainder. Uh, same prices, certainly Mrs Miller or Mr Miller uh, at 20s and offshore at 33s. And Smith's Peak's gone out to 50 to 1. It's now 5 to 4, the favourite here, multi talented. And Dirt Cove to it first. Only by a couple of lengths, Uncle Mick a blunder. And really did well to stay in the plate there, the, the uh, rider Joe Tizard. Chance with the fence, but got away with it. On to the next plain one. And still Dirk Cove makes it to Mr Miller in second. There's a two-length gap between the two. Slightly larger one back to Uncle Mick in third, followed by Usk Valley for fourth. Look to the future, heads the other runners over the next plain fence. Uncle Mick much better there in third place. There's no casualties so far as they head towards the end of the first circuit and start to turn down bound the back again for the second time. And Dirk Cove still has the advantage towards the first down the far side. It's number seven. And Dirk Cove over in front. Uncle Mick is just a fractional second from Mr Miller is on the inside. Usk Valley's between runners. Four lengths away to the remainder led by Stormy Sky. Fence number eight. Oh, we lost one there. A faller, a heavy fall as well for Mr Miller. I mean, currently lying in second place. And Dirk Cove heads off towards that final ditch from Uncle Mick in second. Ask Valley upsides on the inside. Stormy Sky is four lengths away back in fourth place. Then behind his multi talented is just lobbing along in mid division, followed by a look to the future. Then Smith's Perk on offshore starting to lose touch at the back. Head downhill for the second time. Still well over a circuit yet to travel. And Dirk Cove will be back into the straight first from Ask Valley and Uncle Mick who are matching strides for second and third. Four lengths away finds Stormy Sky, who heads the others. Multi-talented comes next with Look to the Future. And now face up to these two fences in the straight. They're 10 and 11 this time. Dirk Cove still has the advantage between the two fences in the straight. Dirk Cove by a couple of lengths to Uncle Mick, who's on the stand side of Ask Values on the inside of the runners. Then Stormy Sky comes next, followed by Look to the Future. Oh, we've got one there, Uncle Ask Valley. Uh, was probably just put off by Uncle Mick, who made a mistake, but Us Valley was a casualty. And they're off past this to the second time, a circuit to go. Another seven fences to jump in it. And Dirk Cove heads away first from Uncle Mick. Stormy Sky now closer, multi-talented, and look to the future, our fourth and fifth. And they've broken away from offshore, and looks like at the back of the field, about to be pulled up is Smith's Perk. This fence is the first on the final circuit, and Dirk Cove's into it first. Uncle Mick three lengths away, Stormy Sky multi-talented, trying to close up in fourth place. And then comes Look to the Future, and these five are well clear from offshore, who's the only other one who's left in the race, and he's about to be pulled up as well. So five remain, and they've now got just these six fences to jump. And Dirk Cove heads towards this fence with a two-length advantage. Uncle Mick's going to jump it in second place. Stormy Sky third, multi-talented. Still had... Uh, a nice easy ride going round there for Lake Naspel back in fourth place. And they're a little way ahead these now from Look to the Future. They've got three to jump down the back straight, so five left in total. And Dirk come over the first down the far side. Stormy Sky made a blunder there, but still holds second place to Uncle Mick, a multi-talented who's getting a little bit closer on the outside spot, those white sleeves. Here's the next one down the far side. And Dirk Cove with multi-talented now jumping up into second place. Stormy Sky is third. Uncle Mick starts to feel the pace in fourth place. Here's the last ditch, three from home. And Dirk Cove from multi-talented who's jumping like a stag down the back straight. Now just a length off the leader. And Stormy Sky one and a half back in third place. And Uncle Mick starting to struggle in fourth, but trying to respond to pressure. And these four are clear now to look to the future, who's the only other runner left back in fifth place. They have a half mile left to go. They start this long turn back towards home with two to jump when they get into the straight. And Dirk Cove about to be pressed for the lead by Multitalented, who's coming up on the outside of the leader. Stormy Sky's trying to get back in third place. Then comes Uncle Mick in fourth, and they're a long way clear these. And it's now a three-way go as they turn for home. Stormy Sky has crept up the inside to take on the second fence in front. Oh, he's blundered badly. Stormy Sky went in the lead and has fallen at the second last. Left multi-talented in front by three or four lengths to Uncle Mick in second place. And then comes Dirk Cove in fourth. It's a long way. No, in fact, there's only three finished now because the other one's pulled up. Here comes the final fence. And multi-talented towards the far sides over in front of Uncle Mick in second place. 
they're going away from Dirk Cove on the flat of a half furlong left to go. Multi Talented punched away for a win here. A Multi Talented's got a three or four length advantage. Multi Talented wins the beginner's chase. Uncle Mickey's second. Third place is Dirk Cove, and just those three finished. My favourite there, Multi Talented, winning by four lengths. Second was number eight, Uncle Mick at six to one. Third was number one, Dirk Cove at seven to one. All nine ran, but only those three finished.